American, but with the vehicles, it's like I feel like they purposely make them like defective, so you could just keep going back and buying the parts, and obviously just keep the economy mm -hmm. running. You know what? You're not yeah. the only, you're not the only one who agrees on that one. We've seen it multiple times before with U.S. manufacturers like Chrysler, GM, Ford, yeah. and other yeah. stuff. And that's why that was one of the main reasons why Japanese cars are being bought by the pound, whether it's Toyota, Honda, and such. Yo, what is up? Yes. Before I leave, can I can I ask why I have a finger? Go ahead, guys. Can you ask? Uh, Dr. Earl, about the those IQs, you know, the earlier, the the soundbite that we yes, have. Yes, I do not, I do not drink beer, but when I do, I drink those Ekis. I do not shoot Ekis. guns, but when I, but when I do, I Ekis. shoot an AR. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? What I drink? <laughs> when you drink an Ekis, you like to use an AR-15. <laughs> oh, How the does fuck? it go? SC did it good. How does it go? SC. I'm looking up some more rock news besides uh -oh. the Lou Graham bashing foreigner. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, obviously, so he, he has a right to feel that way because when you look at it, it's not foreigner without him. We'll get into it. We'll get into it, but I'm looking up um, rock news. All right. I don't always shoot my gun, but when I do, it's an AR-15 in the shooting range. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> nah, yeah, you're right. You're right, Dr. Earl. Yeah. Thank All right, so nah, you... I'll leave. I'll be listening. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Wait, aren't you going to stick on to the call because we're discussing this, one of the subjects that you brought up to us? No, week. no, no, no. We're not doing that. We're going to do it the show. We're doing, Brian, we're doing summer songs. Me and Ark agreed we're going to do summer songs off the top of our head. Oh, these are talk to them? Yes, Ark is on the call, and we're going to do, because right. it's a list, it's going to work out better, and we'll do the... We'll do the um, the uh, fashion for another day. We'll have to plan that out a little bit more. We can do yeah. that tomorrow, there. Song. Yes. Okay, let me wait, change wait, the Dr. title Earl, and description. With Dr. Earl and his AR-15, like, I, I imagine, like, that movie Gran Torino. I never saw that movie, but I know it's oh, Clint, East, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, yeah. Keith, look up this one, too. I have this one ready. Um, Todd okay. Tori. Queen's right, cigarette smoker. How it explains how can he hit the night high notes being a cigarette smoker. Look that one up. It's on Blabbermouth. Just, just scroll down. All right. The main tape. Okay. All right. Ark is here. Brown is here. What's up, fellas? Right. What's up, Ark? Oh, doing okay. That's good to hear. Hey, while he's doing that, I got a question for you. When you do your little blogs, yeah. yeah. Do you use OBS? Uh, no. I usually record, the, usually the blogs that I usually, or vlogs that I usually do, I you do it on my phone there, and I'll upload it from there. How do you do them on your phone? They have a video recorder on it. Oh, okay. Camera, video recorder, and uh, it's saved into your uh, photo files. You know, so when I upload a video, it's uh, right there. So, well, I'm trying go. to. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to start doing uh, something like this, but not exactly like this, because I'm thinking about opening up a Patreon. Uh, I know you mentioned that before there. Because I'm thinking I want to do shows on music, TV shows, movies, wrestling, baseball, yeah, and. Mysteries. I am. Probably get Ken, that people go, Ken and me on that baseball uh, stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, it sounds like a lot of people are going to join your Patreon. Maybe like... Uh, how do we I know mean, this? How do we know this? you got to remember. Because you're, you're covering m many topics on your Patreon. Uh, considering I can't have a job, i got time to do it. Yeah, I get. I'm guessing you're gonna get like 80 people, which I know is, that's not a lot, but it's like it's a lot for a, maybe like a person who's just starting. Right. Mm. 
I'd be okay with that. Yep. But I don't I don't join people's Patreon. I'd rather pay for YouTube premium than join a Patreon. Mm. And how much does it cost uh, for a uh, YouTube premium? Twelve ninety nine a month. Wow, that's not that's a lot. YouTube or Patreon yeah, is about a five, five or uh, three dollars a month, depending on which content you're looking to get for that period. Yeah, I'm never gonna get rid of uh, YouTube Premium. I love YouTube Premium. I'm never good. gonna get rid of it. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, one of the other reasons I was thinking about a Patreon is generally you can play bits of music and get away with it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah true. They're not, they're not the little hounds like YouTube is. Yeah. Right. Right there. All right, Keith, if you want to go with the news, let's start with the Todd LaTorre smoking cigarettes, and we'll follow with the big Lou Graham foreigner bashing news. All right. Go ahead, Keith. Thank you. Go ahead. What? Long time tickets. I think I see he's back. How about an OnlyFans? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not only for perverted stuff, you know what I mean? Well, I'd probably scare people. <laughs> you can see Ike Milley in his uh, swimming trunk. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, yeah. what do you what do you do on OnlyFans besides perverted stuff? Anything you can do anything. Oh, cosplaying oh. for the girls. It's cosplaying. Oh, okay. cosplay. Why well, could show us the the moon? I've never even seen like I've never even been to the website. Have you ever seen the moon from Texas, Keith? I Keith, have. are you yeah. home? I have. Yeah, I am home. You can get on camera, bro, if you want, man. Oh, yeah, okay. no. Keith, look at the camera. Why doesn't it show you um, the, the eclipse right now? I don't know. All right. Yeah. I'll be myself. Go. I, I, can, I need to get my tripod. Um, uh, let's see. On a recent episode of the Talk Ladder podcast, hosted by veteran music journalist Medi Dave Grezner, lifelong hard rank male vocalist Jason Lugar, Chief Salvatore discussed how the fact that he is a longtime cigarette smoker has, or has not affected his singing voice to 48 years old. Um, the 48th year. Old musician who lives in St. Petersburg, Florida, said Blabbermouth. Male singer Ronnie James. Hello? Trevor. There we go. Put, uh, one of the legendary three tenors and widely regarded as one of the greatest singers of the 20th century, Smoke Forever. Grant. Granted, yeah, I think he di he died of lung cancer last, but he sang like a fucking bird. Look, there's great singer named. Wait, hold on. Give me like four seconds. Oh, cause of... all right. Uh, and which singer we're talking about here? Because uh, it's the way you're I don't speaking. know, cause Todd uh, or Todd. Lori or. Todd, Fabio, or I don't know. Todd, Lori, Pernet, yeah. give, us, give us a clue of what we're talking about here. Um, Lead sing, currently singer of Queen Pride. Oh. Yeah, you know, when I when I read these um, blabbermouth stories, I, see now. I don't retain anything because I think these blabbermouth stories are stupid. But anyway. Why are I check your face? I don't, I don't retain any of this. Um, this feels like Bible yeah, stuff. It, it, in the same ballpark or older. Let me look I remember this. when I joined. <laughs> Queen's right singer. Yeah. This is the community Bible study. <laughs> oh my god. Stupid. Something. Nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Oh, um. Alright, let me get back to the I'll article. Hey, hey, what up, RP? Recently, 
Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever I do. Who said? He said, you know how many people come to me like you? And I said, probably a God, lot. God, you've been talking a lot to the Chiefs. You've been talking a whole lot today. Fuck. Who, me? Me? <laughs> That's all I hear today is Keith, 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 on every show. Keith, 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 Keith. Damn. Uh, okay, so you're on Blabbermouth? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me read it for you, Keith. Todd Latora says the current Queensryche lineup is putting out better music than the band did when they had its more original members. <laughs> Latora, who joined the Queensryche in 2012 as a replacement for original frontman Jeff Tate, spoke to big music geek D. Mm, bigmusicgeek.com about the fact that some bands continue to be reluctant to embrace him as a full-fledged member of the band. Quote-unquote, he says, I still get resistance from some of them. People are like, this guy's a hack. He sings like a dead cat. He screams. He doesn't sing. He has no control. He has zero presence on stage. Jeb Tate is the uh, only voice of Queens, right? But you know what? There's also a lot of those people out there who are like, damn, he hits those high notes pretty well. Wow, they're not down tuning. Man, I heard I haven't heard Child of Fire in forever. And when they're playing the warning, all of the original deep cuts erodes the madness in their entirety instead of just doing a medley. A lot of people were positive about that. But as a fan, if you take the emotion out of the equation and just look at the records, you might say I was a huge Queensryche fan. But after Empire, I just didn't have any imp- interest anymore. I wasn't hearing the vocals I wanted. I wasn't hearing the cool music that I loved them to have. The validity. He continues by saying, quote, I think there were a lot of fans who jumped ship towards the end of Jeff's tenure with the group. When I got into Validity. the fold, <clears throat> when I got into the fold, it was like, hey guys, show me all the music you got. I'm never going to tell you anything's too heavy. We're not going into an adult contemporary direction. So let's get back to what Queensright is known for and loved for. I was like, let me tell you why I quit listening to your band. And this is what your audience loves. With me, they no longer have any restraints placed on them, so they were sending me long song ideas for new material that were totally killer. I was like, did you just make this up? They were like, oh no, this was stored on on a hard drive. I showed them to our old lead singer and he thought it was too heavy. I'm like, well listen man, show me everything you have and I'm going to give it my all. He added by saying, I am not perfect as we already know, Jeff sang brilliantly on those old records. When the interview noted that it's amazing how people react to whatever original member of their favorite group is forced to move on, <laughs> but I think it's worked to my advantage, Todd said in response, as well as the band's advantage. Most people are like, here's intervene. a younger guy who can hit all the notes that's hitting all the inflections here is a true fan of metal, and this band represents that legacy. He continued by saying, we're working on album number four with me on vocals, of course, but there are still people out there that hate me because I'm not Jeff. They don't see the band as anything else other than the original lineup. I've always said, yes, this lineup has fewer original members, but is putting out better music than the band did when it had its own original members. Let's get serious here. You know what? We're loving it. We're having a great time. We're writing the new album, and the stuff that we have brewing right now is pretty pretty awesome, you know? I'm going to raise my hand. I know it hey, can, you can't I, please... What? I'm sorry. Um, right. I'm getting some feedback. I think... A couple of people and I think that your title to the stream is very inappropriate. What do you mean? You can just, I just yeah, change it's an, it. it. It's inappropriate. Why? Why? What's inappropriate about it? Uh, there's a certain word in there. Uh, the last rose of summer. Uh, you yeah, have to read it. Uh, it's inappropriate. I think we should. Uh, it's not appropriate. That. It's not a pro- inappropriate. 
Oh, you know how this community is, dude. It's just nah, 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 nah. Legal Go purposes, dude. Nah, it's going to be taken no, as a no, threat. No, 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 no. It's not a threat. Well, I don't want to. It's not a threat. In any of this. Okay. I don't want to partake in any of this. <clears throat> I don't want to be You're not. the next one. It's not been appropriate in the title. I just changed it a bit the bit the discussion here. Highly inappropriate. It's not inappropriate. Okay. What is it? The, I titled our. Yep. I originally titled it "Sharp uh, All the Girls Crazy About a Sharp Dressed Man" because I thought we were doing the uh, rock and roll attire t- topic. So I changed it to uh, "The Last Rose of Summer," which is a Judas Priest title there. Since it, uh, it's about songs about summer. Brown. Yeah. Brown. Yeah. Dr. Earl, so are you sending subliminal messages with that title on your show? No. <laughs> there What's you go. What's the see? deal here? It's something bad. I am getting pop. People are people are pissed off about this thing. Your title, can you just change it to like summer songs or something? RP, you want to go ahead and sing the song? There's, with nothing, me? there's nothing wrong with the title there. Because we need, it's, we have it. Let's do it live for Brown. Brown could probably play it on the. Can we do a different you know song I mean? though? Can we do a different song or? It's the one we know by heart. Right now. <laughs> Let's do a different uh, song. We will be Brown, can you just change it to some for songs, please? In the meantime, I feel like Doctor Earl's working for him. I feel like Doctor Earl's working for him, bro. Like, do uh, uh, do run it by Chris Brown and and RV could do Joel Santana's part. Oh gosh. What? Are you no. serious? Oh. I want to rock right. and roll! Yeah! Whoever said this feels like Bible. Bible. What is it? Bible song. <laughs> so where does it say... So why are... Where does it say in your chat that the title is inappropriate? Yeah, people... Because I'm at the shop looking at your chat right now. And the only What's thing your I... deal? What's your deal? What is your deal? Hey! What the heck? What the fuck is going on? All right, Keith, go ahead and go. All right, so it. are tons of people hitting all of us or behind the scenes saying that oh, Dr. Brown's title is inappropriate? He should take out that word, the trigger word. Thank you. What Thank is you. a trigger word? Rose. Every rose doxes the the people. No. The Look, on, oh, listen, listen, Jesus listen, Christ. listen. I'm no, gonna no, say no, this: no, no, no. the title sticks, like it or not. Grab that goddamn yeah. dog by the neck, and fling it out in the backyard where it belongs. <laughs> animal. Yeah. yeah, keep the title. Do it. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, All right, Keith, go ahead with the Lou Graham news, please. Thank you. Yeah, I want to hear about this, man. <laughs> okay. Nita Strauss, the Los Angeles based guitar shredder for the Alice Cooper band, says that she was surprised. Uh, oh, no, Lou oh. Graham. Lou Graham. Uh, oh. Um, hold on. Lou Graham. Lou Graham. He's. I. In a new interview with Joe Benito uh, of RockHistoryMusic.com, originally foreigner, singer Lou Graham was asked what he thinks of the band's current frontman Kelly Hansen, who has been the group for nearly two decades. <laughs> Kelly, it's all under right. Lou's uh, uh, he's a good singer, but I think Mick Foreigner <coughs> found the guitarist and lyrics really told Kelly when. He first, he first got in the band that he had to study me because he sings these these songs with the same musical and you know in vocal licks and ad libs as I have not. He's mimicking me. His voice doesn't sound like me, but he's singing the songs the way I would sing them. Some people say, "Well, take it as a compliment, Lou." I don't take it as a compliment, Grant. You're a singer in a big band like that. Use your Voice your style, don't hang your coat on my hook. I don't think he should sing the songs but for a freedom like me. Lou added, maybe since a couple years, parts uh, his own influences show, show the fans that he's the new singer now, not me. Asked what it was like to share the stage with Hanson uh, and other 
<laughs> but uh, in other members of the current original foreigner lineup in 2018 to celebrate the band's 40th Dude, anniversary. Fucking ad. There's this ad, ad that won't go away. Oh, I think maybe it'll go away now. Maybe. You click on it. Click on the X. Talk- All right. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, tell him that I was happy to be part of the reunion at the end of the song. The last song hit, and there was in a quarter of a second space before he was zapping away to the audience. And it was like, Jesus, you quiet down for a minute. First of all, whether it's over now for him, the foreigner who said, I think he, so I don't want to be part of it. Well, and McDonald has passed away, and Ed Good's heart Why are you reading so away. fast? So, yeah, no, are you because I, I, the best, the, the best part, the, the best part of when these blabbermouth articles are is when it's over. I don't like these blabbermouth articles. Oh the my best part gosh. of these articles is when it's over. That's why I'm reading no, fast. It's not, about you. it's not making it about you. It's yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's about on, the people wanting to the know. Show, the geez. What you could, geez, quit, Keith, quit being such a queep rag of crying out loud. You really pissed Brown off, dude. Oh. It's not like I'm a damn robot. I'm going to get my AR-15 and I'm going to use a bullet on you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, I'll try to read slower. Even though it wasn't part of the reunion, uh, two, hey, hold on, two original members of the six very are very now. Very, very now. Oh, nah, that title is inappropriate. Gone and, and Mick is in very poor hey. health. I think when the new foreigner plays, I've heard he. <laughs> Yeah, what's your fascination with, with Rose? Like, and then I don't have no fascination with Rose. They would play the whole last half of the set, but then he was in the hospital again for weeks. That seems like some a fucking arena over there. Dude, you gotta go problems. to the hospital, my brother. No, never. Don't read it right, damn it. All right. I am reading it right, damn it. Brown's going to use a bullet on you from an AR-15 bullet. All right, oh, fine. I'll go back to your what original time? way. His recovery time is very long. He goes to the and then he goes to the and then when he comes to the all, most of the foreigner has no original foreigner. Keys, slow down. I'm all right, all right. I'll slow down. I'll slow down. Precisely. From bands. Infinite's debut in 1977. <laughs> water songs like "Hot Blooded" and "I Want to Know What ah, Love" oh, is the know. 72 year old Graham the foreigner the for good in 2000. Was battle issues in recent years, including the removal of a non-cancer tumor. Jeez, he really pissed me off, man. The, what the fuck? Do you guys want me to read it fast or slow? Yes. Read it. Read it, read it collect correctly. All right, read it right. medium. Read it medium. <laughs> okay, okay. Democrat and Chronicle in 20, 2008 that he was planning to retire. He's really a Democrat or no? It's really what? No. Uh, well, who? What? What? Yeah, he I know told, you're he told made the, no sense. He told the Democrat and Chronicle in 2018 that he was planning to retire but still reunited with Foreigner. For I'm several, I don't know who the gives a fuck. Foreigner replaced Graham with Hanson in 2005. Jones, the only remaining original member of Foreigner, suffered from some health issues beginning in 2011, eventually resulting in heart surgery. In 2012, Graham and Jones, June 2003, performance of I Want to Know What Love Is and Jukebox. Right, and that the song I in the New York City marked the first time the pair performed together in a decade after Graham left Foreigner for a second so back to the time. Drama. Yeah. No. 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 Right now, we no, got no some coming up right now. No, isn't that... there drama in the music world? There's no drama no. in the music yeah. world at all? Well, well it's kind of drama. It kind of sounds. Well, it does kind of have that drama <laughs> flair when you look at it. I mean, like the Frank Singer. Wait, Bash hold on. So you're telling me. There is no drama in the music world. Wait, wait okay, RP. Who, which RP rappers is are right. beefing right now? <laughs> RP, which what? which rappers are beefing right now? I want to talk rappers on a real rock song, rock oh, show. You're right, I see. Keith, Keith. Like rock, rockers don't beef with each other. It's only oh, rappers. Oh, they do. Yes, what? they do. Yes, they do. Oh, they oh. Is there any rock about... and roll beef going on? 
Well, right now, what well, there was a beef between Pro Jam and Nirvana. There was beef between Bob Halford and when he left Judas Priest. They were going back and okay. forth. When tell tell me about was, the beef. When Vince tell Neal, me about the beef. Be be okay, when Vince <laughs> Neal, when Vince <laughs> Neal was either left or was fired from Motley Crue. <laughs> Nikki Six and Vince were like going back and forth. Nikki claimed that Vince left, while Vince said that he was fired. Really? Yeah, and that was back. I remember. Do rock and roll was... people like do, do they put this this in their songs like hip hop rappers? Yeah. Well, Subliminal. Really? Fleetwood Mac. Uh -oh. Yeah. There was beef. Call. Yeah, there was oh beef God. between almost all the members that uh, while recording rumors. What? Yeah, there were. Mick Fleetwood's marriage fell apart. Lindsay and Stevie Roca fell apart. John and Christine fell apart. This is slowly becoming my favorite show. Wow. Yeah. Unreal. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is slowly becoming my favorite show. Dr. Earl, Dr. Earl, were you ever part of a band? <laughs> No, I only uh, I wanted to, but the problem is, you know, um, everybody else changed their minds. Everyone was not All into right, so it as much as I was into. We're gonna get to the topic, and yeah. everyone can be involved. This can go for country or rock or hip hop or reggaeton. Whether, but in the topic, no. basically songs of summer. Oh no, uh, yeah, songs that you oh. like to listen to in the summer. So more yeah, drama. Everyone could be involved. Let's start with you, SC. Any songs right, of the uh, that you like? Do a leap of levitating. RP? My favorite song currently right now is Panticito by by Faith, <laughs> Alejo, and Robbie. Hmm. Ropa. That's, that's reggaeton. That's <laughs> Spanish reggaeton. Like. Ropa. Like a word. He would say that. I go ahead, Keith. Daddy I can Yankee. start with R. Keith. Oh, wait. I got to unmute him. Hold on. Keith, you're muted, Keith. Keith, dun, we dun. can't hear you, dog. Dog. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Len, Len steal my sunshine. Let him steal my sunshine. It's a pop song. No. What? You don't know the song dude. Steal My You don't know the song Steal My Sunshine by Len? I heard of it. Okay. In the summer, a lot of background. Go Jerry. Ah. Oh, I, I, um. What are you say it again? Sorry. In the summertime, Mungo Jerry. Mungaloid. Mungo Jerry. Mungaloid. Mungo. Mungo Jerry. That's the name of the project. Mungaloid. What year was that? Seventies, but I don't know the exact year. <clears throat> wow, you Mungo guys are old. No offense. Ah, no uh, come on. No, they are. No offense, but you guys are old. Yeah, but you need yeah. old, but you need old people like us to teach the young kids today. What's what? What was what back then? That is true. That's right. You're that damn right. True. Shout out to Doctor Earl Magnolia. Shout out to them. Yep. Doctor Earl's the young one. First song of the summer, one. Well, I'm a, I'm younger than Ark, but I'm older than the other guys here. Okay. RP, go ahead. I already... Summer Nights, Van Halen. Mm. Ooh, Van Halen, nice pick. I yeah, that wait a minute. I never, we... I never got, I never got my turn. How about Summer Breeze by Seals yeah. and Crofts? What? Ooh, that's a good Ooh. one. I don't know who that is. But that's a good song. one. A little inappropriate. No, no, it's it goes it's like, like title dreams are made of beans. You and I to disagree. Well, the world. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Who's that guy? Hmm? Who's that guy that's always in that in that show, that '70s show, and he goes, 
Yeah. Ashton Kutcher. Oh, I think that was that one. Yeah. Double double ding dong. Cockroach. Is it my turn? Yeah, I guess. Ace of Base, Cruel Summer. Ooh. That's Bananarama. <laughs> no, no. Ace of Base has a song called Cruel Summer. Probably a cover. Oh, all right, yeah. Ace of Base. Don't they do, uh, don't they do? Uh, they have that song, We're all so, that she wants. We're talking <laughs> <laughs> this is why. This is why I know it. Like, this is why. Oh, no, he's having fun, though. You know, real quick, the Beach Boys has a ton. Oh, there we so, go. So we can just well, name they're off pretty the much a summer band. Absolutely, yeah. there. Let's talk about them for a second. The Beach Boys. Now, a lot of people say they were like the American version of the Beatles, kind of that. What? That, that uh, some people have yeah. said that, yeah. You know what I mean? I per like honestly, they're two different types of sounds. They are from the okay. same era, kind of. But okay. Beach Boy is definitely a surfer, more California, California, more sexual. California sound band. Yes, yeah. yes. More sexual vibe. <laughs> Who was more? Who was more uh, influential to the rock and roll world? The beat, uh, 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 the Beach Boys or Kiss? Kiss. Who? Who was more was... influential? Ark, uh, Kiss, or the Beatles? <laughs> he said Ark. Hope the Beatles. Probably the Beatles. The Beatles. Beatles definitely. I... I... Although I will okay, say that the Beach the Boys back. album "Pet Sounds" inspired Sgt. Pepper because Paul McCartney loved that album. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yep. Yep. You guys know everything. I love it. I love it. Though. Yep. Can you hit that uh, RP? Really? How different would the world be if John Lennon was never killed? Oh, how do you know about that? Oh. Maybe the if it, if you add that if George Harrison didn't die from cancer, maybe the Beatles will release a reunite either do a. Um, some sort of couple, couple dates here and there, and we just record some new music. Yeah, what, I know that everyone would love to, love to have that. Yo, who else is surprised that he knew that uh, John Lennon was killed? I think the whole Nobody. world. Has everyone knows it. Not, everyone but I mean, that. like this this guy doesn't know really much about like that era. Anything. All right, Brad. John Lennon is in <laughs> fucking. That's why we have this show. That's why he asked you to come on this show, RP. That is true. I see, dum dum. Stop gassing him up. Okay. Earl. Thanks. Okay, so whose turn is it now? Fucking prick. Vikings is not on the call. My... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> I had to throw I'll that go. in. Hey, throw shots at me. I could throw shots back. Brown, we don't go. play like that. We don't play that shit. No, we don't do that. We don't do that here, dude. Right. Um, Demi Lovato, cool for the summer. What? Huh? Demi Lovato, cool for the summer. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck? That's what I <laughs> My my tripod broke a little bit. Oh. Okay. game? How is something broken a little bit? Either it is or it's not. Um. Well. All right. Because it still kind of works. Okay, so then it's not. Uh, well, I mean, something did break on it, and it doesn't work 100% now. Next. All right, yeah, I was going to ask. Me. You? Me. Oh, oh yeah, Ark's turn. Okay, yeah. 
Summertime Blues. Pick, you got your pick of three different artists. Eddie Cochran, Blue Cheer, The Who. The Who. And Blue Cheer. And Alan Jack. Alan Jack. Alan Jack. Keith. Alan Keith, Jack. mute yourself. Thank you. You got three different ways Nine. that song was done. Yep. And Alan Jackson. Four then. Mm. Okay. Mine is uh, the Guess Who by uh, Laughing. Sorry, Laughing by the Guess Who. Mm. And uh, this Lauren Tudhill's calling me now. No, no. don't. I'm not answering. I, uh, we're in the middle of a show here. What? Oh, little mama, you're so sexy. Sorry. Well, I did see laughing as a as a way down song, in Coco. We'll get there faster, and then we take it slow. Okay. That's where we want to go. Okay. Okay. I just want to. I just uh. Didn't accept that. I declined it down call. Okay, is it my turn? I suppose. Okay, Somewhere in the City by The Loving Spoonful. That's always been a favorite. Mark is not having fun. Mark is not having fun. What'd I do? Oh, okay, you're having fun? Yeah. Yay. All right. Nice. We're all having fun. Okay, the next one, I'm probably the only one that knows this song. A summer song by a group called Chad and Jeremy. Hmm. I heard it. 64. Ah. About the year. The summer of that year, I bet you. But it was a nice mellow rock tune by a pretty big duo at that time. I think uh, Lennon McCartney wrote a song for them. I guess they recorded that, if I'm correct. Uh, Peter and Gordon. Ah, uh, yeah, my bad. World Without Love, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Who's next? I guess whoever jumps in. Right. I go. I go after RP, right? I mean, I'll jump in right now. Um, LFO Summer Girls. Hmm. All right. You know that one? I've heard of it. All right. Okay, let me do it. All right. Are we still going? I'm still going. I'm still... um. I'm still waiting up for who out everyone else to contribute. All right. Where'd everybody go? What the fuck, man? Son of a bitch. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. We're waiting. I think uh, I had my turn. Ark had his turn. Um, I think uh, Keith had his turn. And I'm waiting for Ark. Go back to uh, okay. Go back to Ark. Okay. All right. Let's go with Surfing Bird by the Trash Man. Oh, yeah, there you go. Because everybody's heard about the bird. Absolutely, and they heard about it again a couple of years back. Thanks to Family Guy, the TV show. Yes, exactly. I was about to say that. And she's calling again. What the fuck? I hope that's not one of your girls you met. No, it's not. None of them are on to yeah, the girls locked. I met are not on locked. Skype. Locked. Brown. I Dr. Brown. Okay. Dr. I, I I declined it again. Dr. I did. Okay, I just did. Crying out loud. Ah, all right. <clears throat> I guess it's my turn again. Rockaway Beach by the Ramones. Great song from Rocket to Russia. I remember loving that album when I first got it. There we go. Okay. Dr. Block. I did. Dr. Dr. Brown. Oh, okay, that's my Do- name. Uh, Dr. Dr. Block. Dr. Block. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> the fuck? I'm going to 
she gotta be going back. She must have two accounts or something like that. That's what I'm saying. It could there. be important. Well, if she was, I'll tell you what. If it's so damn important, right, well, let's get let's get, let's set our ass on the call right now. Let's. Uh, ugh. That should be interesting. Yeah, I want to know. I'm putting my I put this folder under my bed here, so this ready, uh, then we can all say hi. Okay. Ready, um... Yo, uh, Yo, RP. Okay, are is RP back? RP. 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 Maybe that was RP calling. No, I don't know what. No, I was kidding. I know it's. RP's too mad enough to give us all the chicks a name. Okay. Uh, no, SC's on mute. Hey. Hey. So is Keith. Hold on a second. I got one. I, I'm sorry. I got a song. Uh, okay. I'm about to go play some soccer. Arcnolia. Yeah. As well. What was the last album you bought, Arcnolia? So that's the last album I bought? Or downloaded. Yeah. Yeah, downloaded's a more appropriate word. Yeah. Uh, Come on. Ooh, let me think about that one. Right. It's been a little while. I think it was Might one of the later. Tony in the back? Yeah, I was going to ask myself. Is he on the call? I was thinking it was one of the later Nightwish albums, but I could be wrong. All right. I'll be back. Uh, let's see, Keith did his, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I honestly don't remember who the artist is, but the song went, summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime, 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 some, some, summertime, 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 some, some, summertime, summertime. But, uh, uh, one of those 50, 60 songs. I never heard that song before. It came out not only before you were born, but well before you were born. Yeah. Yo. Keith. Yeah. Yeah. Keith. <laughs> what? Go ahead. Your turn. Will Smith, Miami. Okay. I guess it's just you and me right now, Keith. So I'm going to go with the Beach Boys again, and I wish they could all be South California girls. All right. Shall I go again right now? Yeah, Doc, Doc stepped out for something. Probably talking to that girl. Uh -huh. Oh, um, Brian Adams, Summer of 69. Yep. Mm -mm, good one. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, we can go to the beach. We can go to the beach again. Didn't know we make it this far. And when, when we, we look back now, the sun is in love forever. And when, when you hear my hair, hair saying that you want to be there, those were the best days of my life. Back in the sun, <laughs> 69. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. Has Lauren, Lauren Toot Hill, Hill to show the, show the dick. dick? Come on, Come man. On, man. <laughs> Were you the one calling under the name Lauren? Answer the question. Didn't hear the question. Ark, he's talking to Lauren Tidehill or Titty Hill. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna name one that. Oh wait, wait, wait! Lauren, Lauren Tudhill's a hermaphrodite. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to go with one that uh, Earl probably would have gone with had he been here. But it's Alice Cooper School's Al. Which is a definite Brown, just I'm, block him, bro. I just did. It's either fucking up the show. Go ahead. It's your right. turn, Brown. Sorry about that, everybody. Motherfucker time is fucking gone. Time I beat you to school's out. Did you hear my rendition, Brown? No, I didn't. Me? I was on the pond. I was on the call with this son of this piece of crap. And we tried real hard. Uh, dude. Brown. Okay. I said I said Brian Adams, summer of sixty nine. All right, there. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Yeah, did yeah, anybody yeah, mention yeah. wipe out by the safaris? Yes. No. Yeah. 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 no. That's yeah, my yeah, pick yeah. right there. No, 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 Everybody knows that song. Oh, yeah. All right. I guess it's, my, it's Ark's turn, I guess. Pierce Arrow, Hot Summer Night. Hmm. All right. Mine is. Wonder, by the way. All right. Here's one by Sly and the Family Stone, Hot Bun in the Summertime. The Summertime. Yep. All right. Uh, Don Henley, The Boys of Summer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think someone did a cover of that song in like 2005 or something. Okay. The Beach Boys. Everybody's gone surfing. Surfing USA. All right. All right, we know that one. Mine's uh, another Beach Boys uh, summer song called uh, Surfer Girl. The Atari's, Keith. Yes, you're right. Why are um, Is it my turn? Now it's Billy sure. Kingstone that's calling me. Oh, uh, no, I, think, I, think I that's, have no clan. That's either, that's either Lauren Sidehill or Bodar. Yeah, exactly. And that's that piece of trash is blocked now. Yeah, I think. Okay, I, I really think. These, Jesus Christ, motherfucker! I, I really think Bodar is is these like screen names that are addresses. And I just blocked them, and he keeps hey, calling. Maybe they don't like that last rose of summer thing. Well, they're going to accept it. it. Well, if you accept it, you'll be kicked off. You'll be on hold on this call. Well, I'm not accepting so they won't, it. They won't... I'm not accepting it. All right. They're calling on the yeah. phone here and not on the computer here. I keep trying right. to block it. But every time I hit the button, they keep calling. Yeah. Let me mute. All right. Okay, okay I'll do one it. since nobody's talking. All right. Uh, the Beach Boys yet again. Yeah. A song called The Warmth of the Sun. Ah. Uh. Nice one there. Oh, here's one here. Uh, I'm on a boat oh, by the I got one. I got I'm, I'm on a boat by the lonely island. Remember that one? I'm on a boat, oh. motherfucker. I heard that a couple <laughs> times and it had T pain in the back doing background vocals. Oh wow, that's cool. Um all right, Jake Owen Beachin. All right. Here you go with something unexpected. Mm -hmm. The Beatles, Here Comes the Sun. Oh, yeah, nice. Good song. I'll throw one in. Um... 
Let's do... Neural's friend. Because there's a lot, just like the Beach oh, Boys. Oh, a friend. More like a friend Jimmy, of me. There we go. Jimmy Buffett did a lot of songs, right? Oh, so yeah. we can do... Um, we can do... Last Mango in Paris, I guess. Ah. Margaritaville. That yeah. was much all Jimmy Buffett songs or summer songs. Exactly, yeah, because it's at the so, Caribbean. Go down that list too, but go ahead, Brown. Just yeah. block all those trolls, Brown. I block am, I them. am. I am. I keep trying to block it. Every time I press uh, the block button, it comes back again. Somebody figured Skype out. You know what? It's pissing me off. Okay. <laughs> They're well equipped with 3,000 screen names. Just like uh, Mick Cannon on the YouTube chat. 3,000 screen names. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Here's one called uh, Ms. Miserloo by uh, Dick Dale. Mm hmm. Miserloo, yeah. There you go. Um, I, I'm going to go with uh, Jake Owen, Barefoot Blue Jean Knight. Hey, this might be a two show, two show for. Me. I like this. Right. I like this topic. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot more. I had absolutely no research, and I've come up with what I've come up with. Okay, my next one is the Beatles again. Yep. Here comes the Sun King. Oh yeah. We'll pull it off from Abbey Road. Yeah. Yeah. Here's another one. School's Out by Alice Cooper. About a minute ago, while you were playing, okay, while you're playing with your friends, yeah, okay, uh, yourself, I got one. Lady your Gaga, room. Go in your room. can you go to your room? Yeah, yeah, I have to clean up the kitchen first, and then I'll go to my room. Clean up the kitchen, Keith. Use the coconut door and use the bleach and put it out in the patio in the backyard, Keith. <laughs> okay, so Lady Gaga, Summer Boy. Right. And it's just blocked. Not only have I blocked him, I just reported him for harassing. There you go. Good. Got another one? And yeah, there's That's another good. one. They got under the name K Man in capitals letters. Somebody wants your attention. Well, you want to. Well. Fuck off. No, no, here's what they want. They want to sabotage the show. That's what they're trying to do, man. I'm not letting them do it. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to do. I'm just going to put the phone underneath my pillow. Oh, no, better Jimmy under the mattress and let it go soda. like that. Okay, I go. Son of a son of a sailor. Fuck. Son of a son of a sailor, Jimmy Buffett. I got one that's kind of a stretch. Alex, go to hell. Alex Cooper? Oh. Wow. Go to hell. Wow, that's unusual for a summer song. Well, it's hot, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And here lately, I don't know about you guys, but our temperature's been over 100. I know, it has been. Tell me about it, man. <laughs> oh, uh, Summertime Sadness by... Um, I forgot. Uh, De Lana Del Rey, Summertime Sadness by Lana Del Rey. Alright. Alright, I gotta meet. Okay, um, let's see here. Let me get the, the list here again. Dang, come in. It was a song by, um, let's see here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm blocked. You didn't give him time to see who it was. I'm not always. It's a thing called a. Uh, it's a stupid ass name. Wow. All right, there. Okay. Vacation by the Go Go's. That's in a summer one there. Yeah. All right. All right. Who's next? Okay. 
I'm going to go with Jan and Dane Surf City. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Two girls for every boy. That was yeah, the thing like back the sound then. Of that. Yeah, who doesn't? Although sometimes that can be stressful. Yeah, that's true there. Depends on the girls. Yeah. All right there. So is it you and us or you and I right now? Oh, no, sorry geez. about that. I was, uh, I was busy. Um, let me look at it. Um, let's see. I'm looking at this list. Um, summer by Calvin Harris. Ah, I heard that. Because when there. I met you in the summer. All right. All right, I'm in my room right now. All right, guys. Bullfrog just uh, DM'd me on Skype saying, hmm. If they're asking for a code, it's a spammer. Hmm. No one would be that stupid to ask someone for a code. But Bullfrog would be stupid enough to think someone asked them no, for a code. No, no wait, a minute. Really it's just, wait a minute. It's shit doing this. Oh. And well. now it's Ball God. B W A God. Oh. Uh. Oh, do you know the song? I am the bull god. No, it's not that. I am the it's bull a B A W. Yeah. Oh, B A W. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I gotta plug my phone on the charger. Okay, let me take it. It's, uh... I just, uh,. I just threw away my tripod because it, it broke. In a way, I guess sort of... this is kind of a summer song. Yeah, right. uh, Crosby, Seals, Nash, and Young. Mm. Southern Cross. Oh, yeah. I think that's about the star up above in the space there that we're referring to there. Well, they were talking about a boat. So. Oh, okay. Because I remember the video featured Stephen on the right in on the boat. Okay, there. Let's see. All right, give me a couple of minutes here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, I got one. Uh, Summer Nights by Olivia Newton John. Oh, yeah. And John Travolta. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, my one is Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves. Mm. I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. Mm. Big hit. Is that okay? by. Yep. That's one of cool. them. Um, wait, so I go after Ark? Yeah, you can go ahead and go because I'm having a little trouble with my brain right now. All right. Okay, hot fun in the summertime, Sly and the Family Stone. I already yeah, mentioned I already that. Mentioned that. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, let me do another one. Summertime by uh, Will Smith. All right. Okay, that's nice. Here's one, yep. Sunny Afternoon by the Kinks. Oh, yeah. All right. A Summer Song by Chad and Jeremy. I named that one early. Yeah. Oh, all right. Hey, oh, wait, let good me... Good thing you spotted it, though. Nobody knew yeah. who the hell they were. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I just read it on this... List I got from Google. Um, does it does it have the year? Because I'm thinking sixty four. Yeah, let's see. Uh, did I, did I say hot fun in the summertime? No, I said a summer song by Chad and Jeremy. Yeah, sixty four. All right, son of a gun. Yeah. All, right. All right. Okay, here's one by the late Aaliyah. Rock the boat. Hmm. How is that a summer TV. song? Well, it's uh, well, it does mention boat <laughs> that's uh, often used during summertime. Oh, all right. Is that the huge cool. corporation. I like that song. Yeah. I've always liked that song, "Rock the Boat" by Lee. Right. Is that the same one as "Rock the Boat"? Rock no, the boat, baby. No, no, it's no. a different one, it's a different song there. This one has okay, a well, sexual just flavor to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wait, what did you say? Then I just named a different one. Yeah. Mm. Rocked the boat by the Hughes Corporation. Ah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, is it my turn? Yeah. Sure. All right, so I got this other list. I don't know why this song has to do with summer, but it's on it's on the uh, summer songs list. Oh, it was uh, hold on. it was it was a good day. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, it was a good day by Ice Cube. All right. Ah. Well, it's saying it takes place in Southern California there. Oh, yeah. That's I guess right. it's a uh, summer when they made the music video. Yeah, most likely. Now, this next one is one that we all know, like the back of our hands. Saturday in the Park by Chicago. Okay, bye, buddy. Yeah. I don't know that one. Oh, okay, well, Keith doesn't know the back of his hand, but yeah. I do. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one, I guess... It's summer themed in a way. Uh, John, no. Every mother's son, come on down to my boat, baby. Ah. All right. We're, come on down where we can play. I see there. Oh, I just thought of one <laughs> in my head. I didn't even look at a list. I just thought of one. Is it my turn? Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, this is me by Demi Lovato, and it's it's sung it's uh from the movie Camp Rock, and Camp Rock is a uh, sleepaway summer camp. Right. So that's why this is me by Demi Lovato is a summer song. Okay, my next one is an uh, is a classic instrumental. It's got like a smooth groove to it. I know it was uh, the backing track for that song Summertime by Jazzy DJ Jazzy Jap and the Fresh Prince. It's Summer Madness by Cool and the Gang. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Uh huh. Why would Spartan King of Texas say I can't read? Obviously, I can read. I mean, but that's the way you read them. That's the problem. Yeah, but it's like okay. I think I think all all news articles on Blabbermouth are stupid. No, I don't want to read any news articles from Blabbermouth. Well, which are I articles? mean, I'll read them. I'll read them for this show. I don't mind reading well, them about, for the show. What about live wire? What about Loudwire? Would you mind? Uh, would you read never from? heard of it. It's another uh, rock news uh, new, news site. Uh, maybe it's just like I don't care about any news at all. Well, which may as part of the staple of the program. So what the heck? Okay. Okay. Ah, right, you're right. You're right. Okay, so it's my turn well, here's now. Here's another. Oh yeah. Right. Oh no, yeah. Summer rain by Johnny Rivers. Yeah. Right. Okay, uh, this is kind of one that just popped into my head. Summer's almost gone by the doors. All right, nice. Uh, Big Pimpin' by Jay Z. Because, mm. like, that's, that takes place on this boat. I know, I okay. remember the video for that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mute, Keith. Oh, all right. I'm mute. Okay. Here's one. Suddenly, last summer by the Motels from 1984. Yeah. All right. Okay. Going to Jimmy Buffett again. All right. Son of a son of a sailor. Hmm. All right, Alan Jackson, five o'clock somewhere. All right. Here's one. Here. Cause like, yeah. Here's one. Rock Lobster by the B Fifty Twos. Oh Lord. Hmm. Huh. All right. 
one my brain just suddenly left me that one wow yeah but you uh, know but, but it does have a, like a surfer uh, sound to it when you think about it no need to guitar uh, yes very much but this is what on this is from a web page called timeout.com well, I got a question like am I meter no oh, we hear you loud and oh. clear uh, uh, if a song came out in the summer, but it has nothing to do with summer, does it count? E- not well. I, it all uh, depends on the songwriting, the production of the song. Oh, all right, got it. So I would say no to this song. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So my next one here is Barbecue by Wendy Renee and the Draples. It's from 1964, and uh, basically, I got a second life to uh, Light in the Attic Records. Ex- excellent compilation of her singles. All right. Page four is again. Mm-hmm. Let's go surfing now. Everybody surfing in how. Come right. on a safari with me. All right. Nice. Okay. Summertime in the LBC. All right. By um. Ah. Wait. Oh, let me see. It's by. It's by the Dove Shack. The Dove Shack. Yeah. Must be a newer group. No, it says nineteen ninety-five. Hmm. All right, there. Here's one. Easy by the Commodores with Lionel Richie. Mm. That's a nice little song, actually. It is, yeah. I remember Faith No More did their uh, version of it, but they didn't do as well as uh, Commodores originally did. That's got a great little guitar lick in it. It does, yeah. Okay, there. Uh, Diesel. Sausalito Summertime. Ah, nice. B-52's Love Shack. Oh, that was a big uh, summer hit during that year. It came out in 1989. Yeah. Yep. I like that one better than Rock Lobster. Yeah, I like watching the music video to Love Shack. All right. Here's another one. Sunshine Superman by Donovan. Yeah. There was much into him. That was a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, another ahead. one of those songs that had two versions, a long one and a short one. Ah, uh, and edited it down in the full length. I see there. Yeah. Ah. Oh, uh, let's see. I think it's... Oh, no, go ahead. Well, this is kind of a strange one. Spooky Tooth, Sunshine Help Me. Hmm. Hi. Oh, man, I just I just had a good song, but I forgot. Uh, damn. Let me look at this list, see if I can remember. Oh, man... Oh, okay. Uh, Drake, Summer 16. Hmm. All right. Here's one here you may remember. Nelly's Hot in Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that reminds me of the song that I forgot. All right. Art, you, you could go. Right. Oh, uh, well, I was going to go ahead and let you go because I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kenny Chesney, no shoes, no shirt. No uh, problem. All right. Here's an oldie and a goodie. Under the Boardwalk by the Drifters. Hmm. I like that song. Yeah. It's an old one there. I was in a band that covered that song, actually. Nice. Different than the one that's posted. Different band. All right. Okay, there. 
Let me look up here. Uh, is it is it my turn? I think it is. Yeah. Uh. Oh man, I had another one. Um. Okay, Jagged Edge, where the party at? Mm. I remember that one there. Yo. All right. Did anyone mention Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys already? No, yeah. but that's a good one. There you go. There's a all-time suburb favorite there. Right. Oh, I got one. Bill yet? Hmm? No. Margaritaville, Jimmy Buffett. We didn't say that yet. Ah, there we go. Margaritaville, I got one. Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, Zach Brown Band Toes. It goes, I got my toes in the water, my my ass in the sand, and some I got a beer in my hand. Life is good today. Right. It's kind of an unexpected one here, according to the list. Ask right. by the Smiths. Yo, what's up with Tony, bro? S C. I mean R P. You gotta stop doing that way, uh, R P S C S C R P. I'm just fucking around. I'm just fucking around with Tony, bro. First of all, I don't lose shit by not fucking with Tony no more. Oh, you're no more, uh, Jacob. You're banned on my show. Who the fuck cares? Thank God. Really, oh, what the heck? What? I take it you and uh, Tony got into a little hustle there? Yeah, but I was just fucking around with him. And he said, oh, you're, you're uh, YR. Don't ever have Jacob on the call with me. I don't give a fuck. I hate Tony. I was the first Tony hater in the community. You're right. Well, I don't give a fuck about the Tony. Who, who loses anything with Tony, bro? Like, really? Come on. <laughs> well, you could join the Vikings fan on that one. I mean, like, I'm at the point where it's like, if I'm on Tony's show, it's a whole lot of fun. But if I'm not on Tony's show, then I don't really want to listen. But I, I have a whole lot of fun on Tony's show. I don't. I think he's a piece of crap. Mm. All right. All right. I think Dr. Earl is better than Tony. Yeah, that's true. Oh, here's... Mm. Okay, so is it my turn? No, it's my Yeah. Okay, go ahead there, uh, Mark. Brian Highland. Yeah. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow bulk the uh, yellow polka <laughs> dot bikini. bikini. Yep. That's an <laughs> old one. Did you say Ryan Highland? Brian Highland. Mm. Uh, <laughs> do you know who Ryan Highland is? Never heard of him. Uh, <laughs> what? He's the guy who just said did yellow polka dot bikini. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. There was a name screw up there. My next one is Heat Wave by Martha and the Vandellas. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Ark, do you have another one? Not off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, Play, Playboy, Playboy Cardi Magnolia. The whole music video takes place... During the summer. Mm. Fucking black! I hit the sack! Uh, I don't think so. Right. My next one is a song by Maze featuring Frankie Beverly called Before I Let Go. Fucking black! Mm. I hit the sack! Mm. I've been too long, I'm glad to be back! You know, that, yeah. I, think that, I think that qualifies as a summer song since it came out in the summer that year it came out. Because I'm back. Yes, I'm back. Back I'm in the... Back. back in the back of a Cadillac. Well, how about Hell's Bells then if you're going to go that way? Yeah. If it's not summertime, it's about hot stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. How about Hot Stuff by the Rolling Stones? No, I wouldn't qualify that one. 
Why are? Right. You mad at me, Why are? Yeah. Come on. Oh, Get oh, <laughs> some makeup, guys. All right. I was just fucking around with Tony. Come on. Come on. Uh-huh. Oh, sad. Not nice. <laughs> oh my God! I just found the summer song. Mm-hmm. I didn't. Really? Even, I I never. I never heard this song. I mean, the only time I heard this song was was on Ken's show because he sang it a little bit. But Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. Mm. All right. I mean, no. I I didn't hear it on Ken's show, but I he was doing this like. Video where he was in the car, with right. and uh, it was like playing on the radio, no, and he, he was wasn't. like singing. He was singing to it. No, I wasn't. I wasn't him doing that. All right. No, I saw the video. No, you not. Back Go ahead. Back. I don't know why it's just stuck in my head. Back Go ahead, back. Keith. Hey, good song, man. Go ahead, Keith. Uh. uh... Go ahead. Let me, Mud? Uh, let me look at this list. Um, let, let me stretch. Super, Go ahead. Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. That was like the song of the summer in 2010. All right. Let's go into old Stretchville with another one. Harry Nelson, Jump Into the Fire. Wow. Okay, my next pick, Paradise City by Guns N' Roses. Mm. All right. Uh, I got Hot Girl Summer by Megan Thee Stallion. What? (laughs) Yeah. Real nice, real nice. Thank you. All right. Oh, Oh, yeah. Apparently... Earth is rotating faster than usual. We oh, recently yes. had, we recently, Keith, you're always fucking interrupting. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we I... recently had the shortest day ever. What does that even mean? Back in the man. Back in black! The oh, shortest yeah, day is in December. I think it has 22nd. Usually, it was usually around the winter time. For I remember back in Michigan, there. I think it's the twenty-second of December. Mm. It's a. Uh, uh, Yo, but There's like the country, like the they're trying to pass this law. That's like we 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 uh, turn the cocks back one more time, and then we don't touch it. But we need to turn the cocks back one more time, and then turn it forward one more time, because then we'll have longer days all year. But if we turn it back one time, we'll have shorter days all year. In other news, song, in other news, Slam Ball... It doesn't make the doors any longer or shorter. Slam Ball is making a comeback. Slam Ball. Is it like Trampoline dodgeball? Basketball. Trampoline basketball. Oh, there you go. That's something interesting. I just I just did that the other day. Action in the park. yeah the yeah extreme action park yeah they had the lights turned off and they had the party lights on. Who was there? Just some people I don't know. Like, Kids? Nah. Oh. Well yeah okay there were but Jeez. I mean come on there's there's two different bars at extreme action park there's go karts that go up to seventy five miles an hour. Why are call Extreme Action Park, please? Thank you. Oh, I'm not shit. doing anything wrong. <laughs> RP, I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> nah, that's fucking wrong. <laughs> Maybe I am a troll. What the fuck? Why am I so trolly today? <laughs> well, you could, troll, you could call a troll the son of a bitch that kept you know, interrupting our show earlier. Who? Shit. Lauren that's what, no, it's possibly shit. That's what Bullfrog oh, yeah. told me. He DM'd me uh, some of them, uh, some tidbit here. Happy <laughs> All right, let's see. My next one is, I think I just went. Oh yeah, uh, RPS. Before I said Drake, Summer Sixteen. Nah. All right. <laughs> A good summer song is um. 
It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. That's right. a good one. Yeah. 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 Nice. But oh, wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't that be good in the winter, too? No. Uh, uh, no. What are you, insane? <laughs> well, he I is in a way. I don't. <laughs> Dude. Have... Dude, after right, deal with Let me look it up. Let me let me go look the Drew route. Let me look it up. The good summer songs. Summer okay. right. song. Okay, my next pick have to be California Girls by Katy Perry. Uh, that's a good one. I kissed a girl and I liked it. <laughs> Is that different from Beach Boys? Yeah. Not pretty much, yes. And we gotta throw in the Beach Boys. Or David Lee Roth. Yeah. Either one of those versions. Um, fun, fun, fun. Okay, so I got I got a thong song by Cisco. Mm. What yeah. about Alice What's... Cooper? School's out. Yeah, I already. I think that was already. I already mentioned that. I did. I did. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Okay. What about? What about? Oh, you did say in the summertime, Mungo Jerry. You did say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what about, about um? See, there you go, Keith. Go ahead. Go ahead, Keith. Fuck. I, I. No, no you go. Go ahead. You go. Already me. Go ahead. You go. No, you already go. Go ahead, bro. I... <laughs> Check, Daddy. In the wind. What about? What about Heat Wave by Lindsey Jordan? Hmm. Is it the same as Martha and the Vandellas? I think so. I could hmm. be wrong. Probably a cover. What about In the Sun by Blondie? Ah, there you go. that was on the list that I was looking at as well. What about Hot in the City, Billy Idol, 1982? There you go. That's a goodie. Hey, I'm proud of myself for knowing that. Um, What about Surfing, the Beach Boys? Ah, Surfing USA? Yep, yep. Yeah, I did that one early. What about you, YR? YR? Uh, he's Would over Fire at Lake by Bob Seger qualify? YR is uh, over Pretty at Tony's much. doing a double show, double stream. Mm. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. Summertime Rolls by Jane's Addiction. I, um, Jake Owen, the one that got away. Because that, 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 Music video and song takes place in the summer. Mm. What was that song in Wedding Crashers when um the the guy, the guy with the blonde hair was riding bikes with the girl? Uh, uh Owen Wilson. Uh, huh? Owen Wilson, that's the guy. Right, okay. That's the actor's yeah, but, um, name. Yeah, but what was the song that was... Fuck, Keith. Yo, can you lower that shit, Keith? It's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not me. So there was a song playing. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up right now. The scene of uh, Wedding Crashers with Owen Wilson. He was riding bikes with the girl in the summer, something like that. In the summer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. All right, go ahead. And in the meantime, maybe we ought to think about carrying this over to tomorrow night and quitting. It's been an hour and a half. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say there. But let Jacob RP find the song he's looking for. All right, there. Unless he's going to be a while. All right, there. And maybe Keith wants to jump in. And that little sub in AV uh, unmutes himself. There you go. All right, uh, I, I saw this song on the list. What is going on? Oh, all right. Um,. Uh, uh, Meek, Meek Mill, middle of the summer. Mm. <laughs> hey, you right heat, July morning. Ah, nice. All right, there. There's one by the band Weezer. There you go. Yeah. What song is that? That's in the summertime. In the summertime. By- by Mungo Jerry. T- oh, okay, okay, my bad. That's the one. All right, there. And my final one for tonight is Surf Wax America by Weezer. 
Okay, well, we'll pick this up again tomorrow night and maybe talk a little about a, a tire, huh? Okay, definitely we got to do that, definitely. for Because sure. oh, most rock bands wear clothes, well, but hey. But then again, there's uh, some clothing out there that's just outright, you know, um, mem beyond. It's, uh, it's just memorable clothing. Like, uh, we got a few of mine, definitely. All right, there. All right, so I guess that's uh, it for now, I guess. Sure. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody, for uh, for the confusion that was going on earlier today. Bullfrog uh, DM'd me and said it was possibly that shit creature that was uh, constantly calling, call after call after call after call after call. So um, I know I was, I was thinking about cutting a promo on the fool, but I figured, you know, nah. Let him wild in his own bullshit. All right, there. So, um, to, so for RP Jacob RP, SC YR, Arknoia, and Keith, you guys have yourselves a good show. I mean, good. Bye, Excuse guys. Me. Thank All you right. for everything, guys. Good Monday evening. Bye, bye. I mean Wednesday evening. Fuck. <laughs> Well, um, My bad. Are you sure of where you are? No, no, I got so distracted with all the bullshit earlier. That's that's kind of Jake fucked Barpie. me up here. Jacob RP. Hello. Yo. Yo. What's up? You want to do the Jacob RP show? Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm okay. I'm tired. I'm tired. All right, there. See you tomorrow, guys. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Ark. Bye, Ark Earl. Bye. Bye. So back to the drama. No, let me stop. <laughs> 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 What's up, YR? What do you want to yap about? 